Grid Central. Yes. Oh, that's exciting. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm happy to be here. How did you? Uh, how did you find your character's voice? Well, well, I, I actually found that that's an interesting question because I, I kind of wanted Liz to tell her own story, but I knew I couldn't sound like Liz, so I kind of had to find my own Liz inside my. Sig Liz, Liz Sig, and I had to kind of go to a place where I felt all these feelings. Um, I was constantly frustrated by the fact that it sounded like me, because <laughs> I really wanted to, I really wanted to be her. So I don't know. We'll have to see. You know, I, I, I really wanted to be that character, and I don't know if I was successful. Is it wonderful to sort of work around all these strong women characters? Because I, we also interviewed her singing voice, who've known her for a very yes, long time. Yes, yes. And to have a cable place for that to happen. Yes. No, it's it's fantastic. I love all the voices in it. It's um, And the animation is so brilliant. And there's something so endearing, too, about all the characters. Um, and certainly about the character of Liz, you know. You just want to take care of her, and you're so glad when she finally can figure out how to take care of herself and let her friends take care of her. And after uh, after this um, short film, do you have any other projects lined up? Uh, well, yes, I uh, I have I have to start getting ready for the three avatars because I actually have a big job in those. So I'm going to have to start doing a lot of kind of preparation for that. So I'm actually hoping I won't be too busy this year because I've been very busy the last couple of years, and I'm I'm happy not to be too busy, so I can actually go to some theater and um, and do some of this work for the different avatars. Thank you. Pleasure.